Dams that protect urban areas from flooding sometimes fail, resulting in catastrophic damage. What can be done to prevent such disasters? Under my foot, there are 48 sensors. There are 48 sensors under my feet, constantly telling us how this dam is feeling and how it's behaving. This technology makes it the smartest dam in the world. The underground sensors developed within a European Union research project transmit measurements to data centers in several countries. Boston, on the east coast of England, is one of the main test sites for the new technology. The river rises dramatically with the sea tides, putting local citizens at risk. Boston has some good, good sea defences, but they're not high enough. So when the surge comes through, it means that the walls get, get overtopped and potentially could fail. So it's, it is at significant risk. Engineers involved in the study have designed several types of sensors, reliable and affordable enough to be put in damp soil embankments. What you see here is a sensor. What you see here is a sensor, a measuring device that has electronic components inside a stainless steel container. It has a tiny opening through which water can enter. And that water is on the druk. This device measures the amount of water in the dam and many other parameters, such as the underground temperature and the movement of the sensors inside the dam. The hook wherein he the verdraaid is. These indications can be followed in real time using any internet-enabled device. A touchscreen panel installed in a Boston cafe allows the public to see how the system works. Well, the sensor data information can be analysed and you can gauge the, the stability of the embankment of the dam. And by knowing if there's any signs of change within the embankment, that's often a sign of failure occurring or potential failure occurring within the dam. If the artificial intelligence anticipates a breach, it sends a warning to the responsible services that may otherwise be unaware of the weakening within the flood defences. Currently, we uh, use a visual walkover, so it, it means probably two or three times a year we get people viewing the asset and it's from a visual point of view. This technology allows us to actually understand how the bank is performing, so it looks at uh, probably how it's moving under pressure, whether we've got leakages through the defence, and also um, we can see it in an instant because it's real time what, what's happening. The software calculates how fast the site will be flooded if the dam fails and even suggests the best ways to move citizens into safer areas. This system will allow you to show you the outline of the flood mapping. We can then run a life safety model which will show the evacuation process that people can take. This can be used by emergency planners for them to be able to test various scenarios of evacuation to find the best evacuation procedure in the event of a failure. If proved reliable, this system could be deployed in many urban areas in Europe and across the world to protect vulnerable cities from the imminent effects of climate change.